remember to stay hydrated. And today we're going to be talking about the Wux Legenda. This is an absolute tank of a knife and I'm going to tell you everything about it. Let's get it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Everyday Minimalist. My name is Brandon and I hope you're having a good day. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Wux Legenda. Now, Wux did send this out for me to check out and then to share with you guys. If you're interested in purchasing the Legenda, I'll be leaving a link in the description below along with a discount code, which is going to be EM22 that will get you an additional 10% off your order. To give you guys a quick backstory about Wux, they are an outdoor gear company headquartered in Hickory, North Carolina. The company started in Italy in 1937, so they've been around for a long time now, and they're really focused on making their products sustainable. The Legenda is going to be made from real wood, and it also does have a really good looking carbon fiber inlay. They also make knives, axes, and a bunch of other cool gear, so go ahead, check them out. So without further ado, let's talk about the Wux Legenda. This is an absolutely huge knife. To give you guys a quick comparison, here it is next to my Koenig Arius, which is also another full-size knife, and the the handle width is really what makes this thing a tank of a knife. As you can tell, it's going to be quite a bit thicker than at the Arius. I feel like this knife was modeled after a fixed blade over a traditional folding knife. As I stated before, you do have some really nice real wood scales along with this carbon fiber inlay. You've got D2 tool steel that's also black coated. It does have a deep carry pocket clip with this Wux backspacer that's also finished in black. I believe that is going to be steel. Don't quote me on that, but it's pretty decent. Now, in terms of cutting performance, the factory edge is actually pretty solid. I feel like this knife is going to be more so made for someone that's going to be bushcrafting and really bearing down on their blade. It's got jimping here up top on the blade spine so you do get a really good grip. This is a liner lock knife that's operating off of bearings. By no means is this thing drop shutty, but it does get the job done when it goes to engage. Now, as you guys know, I've handled a bunch of different knives, whether they be Civivi, Kershaw, CRKT, if we're talking in the higher range, you know, Chris Reeve knives, Hinderer, and a bunch of others. But where the Legenda kind of sets itself apart from the rest is gonna be the overall design. This thing does not feel like any other knife that I've ever handled. As I said earlier, it feels like it's modeled after a fixed blade. This isn't a knife that you're going to be pulling out in the office, to be completely honest with you. I feel like it's going to be a good knife for the outdoors, camping, and bushcrafting, that sort of use. It's going to be a very heavy, robust knife that I feel like you can just hammer down on things with and it will keep on cutting. That's probably why they went with the D2 tool steel because you do have a massive chunk of it here. It's got a really thick blade spine. Like I said before, the factory edge is not too bad. Overall, I think this is going to be a fantastic beater knife. It's going to be able to withstand all the elements. And I believe if you're someone that's looking for a stellar camping folding knife or someone that wants to get like their dad or grandpa a brand new knife, this thing is awesome. I know I kept this video super short for you guys. Don't worry, there's going to be a bunch of new content coming out. If you've been following me on Instagram or any of my socials, then you'll know that I'm going to be jumping into the Overland content. As a matter of fact, we're going to be doing something really cool to the Forerunner tomorrow. I'm not sure when that vlog is going to be posting on the channel, but stay tuned for that. I want to give a huge shout out to all of my return subscribers, new subscribers, and any of my Patreon slash channel members. You guys are the reason why this is a thing, and I couldn't thank you guys enough. Thank you guys so much for dropping by, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.